Yeah, it's a good question. I think there's loads of questions in a good fact find, so um, I won't repeat them all. I think the obvious ones that come to mind with me would be how are you going to maintain the rent on your current home before you move in with us, or you might have two, three weeks obligation with your previous landlord. Have you thought about that? What does it look like? I think um, asking questions around things like repairs, are there any outstanding repairs? Uh, you know, these are other former tenant debts, it's not just the rent. So will there be any costs there that you might need to be meet or talking to us about, assistance with that type of thing? That earlier point about the cost of moving, you know, most social housing properties, whilst they're a good standard, they're often not furnished, need new carpets. Um, any tenant who's perhaps got aspirations about the new home is going to want to think about those things. And again, I think the landlord having that honest discussion about how they're going to fund those things and pay for them is important. There might be assistance they can give, but equally you might be able to guide that tenant in terms of what they should and shouldn't do um, with meeting the source of those payments. I think you know, personal responsibility and benefit claims is really important. So, A, having the conversation with the tenant that you've actually thought about you know, the benefit claim and, and what you might be able to claim across two properties or to help you move between the two, but actually instilling that understanding that it's that tenant's responsibility. You know, of course, when the circumstances need it, you know, you can intervene, but if not, it's very much uh, down to the tenant, they're empowered to do that. And I think that final question, you know, rent in advance, what is the source of that, those funds? How are you meeting that cost? I think it's a really important question.